to another episode of AIS TV. Let's start with having some jokes from Miss Howarth and Mr. Patterson. Mr. Patterson, hello. Hello, Miss Howarth. Well, it's a long time since we've been here together with all our friends. That's right. We've been back to school. We've been running around playing and learning and having a great time, but we've missed our friends. We have, and you know, there's something else that I've really, really missed. What's that? AIS TV. Of course, I thought AIS TV had finished now that we're back at school. Well, I have to tell you that so many of the boys and girls have missed AIS TV that we've decided that we're going to have it again. Oh, it's not just the boys and girls who've missed AIS TV. I've missed it, the mums and dads have missed it, and even our friends in other countries have missed it. Oh, I think so, and so I've been so lucky because lots of the boys and girls have been telling me funny jokes, and I've been super lucky because Lillian, in 1E, e, lent me her joke book. You don't need a joke book, Mrs Howarth. Oh, how would you know? Sometimes I like to get some fresh material. So are you ready for some jokes? I am. Give me your best ones. Okay. What happened to the wooden car with the wooden wheels and the wooden engine? Hmm, I don't know. What happened with the wooden car, with the wooden engine, with the wooden wheels? It wouldn't go! <laughs> oh, that's, actually, that's pretty good. I like that one. I thought you'd like that one. Did you hear the story about the dog who ran two miles to fetch a stick? No, I haven't heard that story. <laughs> don't worry about it, it was too far-fetched. <laughs> Oh, now I get it. The dog had to go too far to fetch the stick. That was a hard one for me. <laughs> okay, last one from me. Did you hear about the one about the garbage truck? No, I didn't hear a joke about a garbage truck. Don't worry about that one either. It was just a load of rubbish. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, that was my favourite joke. Fantastic. We hope you enjoy AIS TV and... We're really hoping that you send us in some of your great jokes so that we can add them to the next episode. That would be great. More jokes, more fun, more AIS TV. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. And now one more thing to do. Oh. We have to go to the birthdays. Of course. How could I forget the birthdays? <laughs> AIS Book Talks, don't forget to send us your book talk and go into the lucky draw. Book Talks will be shown on AIS TV episodes or back at school during our lunch times. Have fun creating your book talks, we look forward to seeing them. Thanks Mrs Cox. Let's head around the school for some Father's Day messages. I love you, Dad, because you always say yes to everything. I love you, Dad, because you always print colouring sheets. I love you, Dad, because you always swim with me and play with me. I love you, Dad, because you always play with me and take you to take me to the pool. My dad's the best because he lets me stay at night. My dad's the best because he cleans my room. My dad's the best because I get to ride on the back of his bike. My dad's the best because he lets me go to the pool whenever I want. I like my dad because he gives me hugs. I like my dad when he, gives, when he plays games with me. I like my dad when he plays Pokemon with me. I like my dad when he reads books to me at night time. <laughs> My favorite thing
thing to do with my dad is to play games and sport. My favorite thing to do with my dad is play games. My favorite thing to do with my dad is go swimming together. My favorite thing to do with my dad is fold paper airplane. My dad is named Peter Moore and he's the best dad in the whole universe that I can ever think of in my mind. My dad is, is named Ben and he's the best dad that I can think of. My dad is named Koichiko and he's the best dad I can think of. My dad is funny because his dance is really funny. My dad is funny because he tells funny jokes. My dad is funny because he because he speaks funny. My dad is funny because when people aren't listening, he makes up funny stuff. Thank you, Dad, for being amazing and playing with me. Thank, thank you, Dad, for helping me finish my work. Thank you, Dad, for helping me when I get in trouble. My favourite thing to do with my dad is playing sport. My favourite thing to do with my dad is in the mornings on Sundays I do horse riding lessons with him. My favourite thing to do with my dad is going for a walk with him on Sunday. My dad is the best dad in the world because he is kind and caring. My dad is the best dad in the world because he's caring and he loves me. What I love about my dad is that he's always happy. What I love about my dad is that he thinks he's funny. I love my dad because he is caring and he is very funny. I love my dad because he makes the best steak when we are having a barbecue and he is also very funny. We love our dad. Happy Father's Day! Thanks guys, I love Father's Day. Let's take it to the elementary library. wait for book week I'm thinking about what my favorite book is already but next we have a special guest Mr. Manson who will talk to us about his mural. Hello everyone I'm Mr. Manzi. I'm one of the art teachers here at the Australian International School I'm responsible for painting this mural right here that you see and this mural here was painted in 2016 and it was the final mural that we added to our collection here at school which was part of Singapore's 50th birthday and we had the opportunity to bring mural artists from Singapore and Australia that have painted murals around the school and this was the final painting in that mural collection. This mural here represents a Singapore Peranakan house which is a lot like a, uh, a terrace house that you'd find in Australia and it's to size so it's to scale 
And what I chose to do is to use the recess of this building as a space where I could show an old Piranacan house being squashed between two new buildings. So the recess really worked well to make it look like it was being squashed by two modern buildings. That's why the roof's a little bit bent at the top. And um, I think it's quite effective. It does look like an old building stuck between two new buildings. And the kids really enjoyed seeing this up. It took approximately four days on of actual painting. And uh, we had to use a boom lift in order to get me up and down. It was all done by freehand. I did a sketch prior to the mural, um, which I held on my phone, and then moved my boom up and down accordingly to be able to do the work. It's quite simple. Um, it's black and white, which is the black and white representational of the black and white houses here in Singapore. I'm putting together a mural at the Australian School. It'll be over here on this wall, four storeys tall. It's going to be an old Piranican shop house, and it's going to be sandwiched between those two glass panels, almost like it's being squashed by two modern buildings. So it's representing the old and the new of not just Singapore, but our school. Show them the harness that you So I'm hooked in. in there, so I ain't gonna fall out, I hope. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna head back down now? Yes, please. Okay. <gasps> oh, cool. That's just the stencil of it. So what we like, black oh, and white. Yeah, yeah. And then it'll be sky from the blue light. Good work. You just have to do with the holidays, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? No, it's gorgeous. Every day we pass by, it's gorgeous. Oh, you done a lot, not today? Yeah. Super. You sure you don't want any mash? No, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> and my kids were looking at it, and as I take them, they go to there. <laughs> First impression when I look at the drawing, the art uh, reminds me of uh, the first AIS school at Emerald, Emerald Road, the pre-war houses in Emerald Road. It looks beautiful, man. Yeah. Looks good, very good, man, dude. Really good. <laughs> Till, thumbs up, bro. Thanks, man. Hey, man, Till. Thank you. See you guys. Okay, here we are. Finally finished. It's taken a few days. It's been about six days. We've braved the heat. We've braved the rain. We've had a little bit of rain today. And uh, 
happy to say that it's completed and we're very proud of it. Um, and here she is, it looks like it's been here all along. I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to talk about this mural. We're going to hear what the kids have to say. Hi, I'm Cooper. And I'm Zach. I'm Holly McPherson. Hi, I'm Ella Richardson. And I'm Madeline Clark. And I'm Nurse and I'm in 4S. Hi, my name's Leon and I'm from 4S. I'm Billy and I'm from 4S. Um, my name is Sophie from 4S. Oh. My name is Harry Price and I'm in 4S. I think it represents like an old shop, like it's not so fashionable, it's like very basic to this. Um, shop house mural is basically if somebody has uh, a shop and then they have a house on top so it makes it very easy for them to go up and down. Yes, it's a shop house. I think that it's a shop house, so I think that it looks like a house on the outside but inside it's a shop. business down just below you and you can have your house on top so when you're finished you can just head up. It's a shop house. Basically there's a shop below and there's a house on top. And I've seen it on my mom's painting at my house and it's in Singapore. Uh, I've seen it in Australia near my house. Awesome guys, thank you very much.
Wow, Mr. Manzi. Now I'm inspired to make my own mural. Now we're going to Miss D for a read along. <laughs> My Dad Thinks He's Funny by Katrina Germain, illustrated by Tom Gillette. My Dad Thinks He's Funny. My Dad Thinks He's Funny. Whenever I say I'm hungry, Dad says, Hello, hungry, pleased to meet you. Whenever I put lots of sauce on my plate, Dad says, Would you like some dinner with that sauce? And whenever we're about to cut up a cake for dessert, Dad says, Well, there's my piece. What's everyone else having? The eye roll. My dad thinks he's funny when I say, Dad, do you know what? He says, I don't know what, but I know his brother. When I say, Dad, I don't know how. He says, I know how. He's what's brother. And when I say, Dad, I don't want to. He says, Okay then, do you want three? My dad thinks he's funny. When I tell dad my finger hurts, he says, let's chop it off. When I tell dad my foot hurts, he says, no problem, you've got another. And when I tell dad I think there's something in my eye, he says, yeah, an eyeball. My dad thinks he's funny. If anyone asks, how are you going? Dad says, bye boss. If I fall over, dad says, welcome home. How was your trip? And if anyone asks, what's up? Dad says, just the sky. My dad thinks he's funny. When people say, how are you feeling? Dad says, with my hands. When people say, do you like sugar? Dad says, I'm sweet enough. And when Dad says, time for a special announcement, we leave the room fast before it really starts to smell. My dad thinks he's funny. Sometimes Dad stands in front of the television. Dad, I say, I can't see. Well, open your eyes, he says. My dad thinks he's funny. Whenever I go swimming, dad says, try not to get wet. Whenever I go shopping, dad says, buy me some money. And whenever I go to the toilet, dad says, don't get lost. My dad thinks he's funny. When mum says, I'm not sure when I'll be home, I'll give you a ring. Dad says, make sure it has diamonds. When mum says, I'm just going to jump in the shower. Dad says, that sounds dangerous. And when mum says, the neighbor's garden is looking pretty. Dad says, yeah, pretty strange. My dad thinks he's funny. My dad thinks he's funny. At bedtime, when I ask dad if I can stay up late, he says, not now, but you can yesterday. And bed at bedtime, when I ask Dad for a hand, he says, Which one do you want, left or right? And then at bedtime, when Mum says to me, Come and give me a kiss, gorgeous, Dad says, I'll be right there. <laughs> My Dad thinks he's funny. Good night, I say when Dad tucks me in. Good morning, Dad says. Then he pulls the covers over my head kisses my feet and turns on the light. My dad thinks he's funny. What a funny story. Let's look at some more Father's Day messages from around the school. Um, I play footy in the ball with him. He tells funny dad jokes all the time. Yell at the TV when he wants to footy. Have you got a special message for your dad? Um, I love you, Daddy. I 
I kicked the footy with him at the park. Dad, you just have to start doing more skating so you can do snowboarding better because you always stuck it. Um, my dad works a lot so then he can support our family. Um, he has really bad dad jokes and um, he, he does really big double shins when he's being silly. Him and I play VR. We would play games and he would tickle me. You're the best dad ever and you know basically everything because every time I ask you a question you know the answer to it. Whenever we go swimming he makes weird dad jokes all the time. Father's Day message for my dad too. Dad, thanks for everything you've done for me. But next, we have some special music performances. Now let's go to Mr. Elliot for a talk about the next episode. Hello everybody, Mr. Elliot here. Thanks for watching another episode of AIS TV. We've got another one coming out before the end of the term and we've got some cultural ideas that we'd like you to help us with. So if you've got a dance or a song or a story that represents your culture and you'd like to make a video of your performance at home, Make a video that lasts for two minutes or less and send it in to us at AIS TV and we'll put it into our next episode of AIS TV. A bit of a cultural extravaganza. 
Have a great day.